Join me on the Cornwall Channel later on from St Mabin while I'll be chatting to the Trick Morris. Way! <laughs> Are you, are you born a Morris man, or do you inherit a position? Or? Um, no, not really. I'm always going to be a bit of a folky, to be perfectly honest. Right. And um, got involved with the folk club in Abingdon from there, progressed to the Morris, and then moved down to Cornwall to retire. And you're out and about all year round? All year round, all around different parts of Cornwall. Like yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, Great right. fun. It keeps you fit, this way. Keeps you fit, yeah. I'm, young, I'm coming up for 60 now, and I'm still fit as a fiddle. So the 60? 60, yeah. Blimey. Yeah. <laughs> Nice straight line, boys. I suppose the current history goes back to the, about the 1400s, we think. All right. Um, but who knows? There was probably Morris since men had uh, a chance to do something to rhythm. You know. <laughs> okay, that's so, going back a bit. Yeah, yeah. But, but really, re records, live records, tend to go back to about the 1400s. Right, yeah. In Britain? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Is it a British, uh, is it a British movement? It's an English custom, I suppose. Right. English. 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 Sorry, yeah, yeah. I suppose it's English. Um, but then similar dances appear all over Europe, right. well, probably all over the world, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Men dancing yeah. um, and circle dancing and all that sort of thing. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's do a little bit. I did leave the homeland for a little while. The homeland? I did leave the homeland and I did uh, start the cycle Grand Union up in the west of London. Okay. For one year before I came, I went away from Cornwall for a few years. Okay. Then came back again and joined Tree. Yeah. So, uh, is, is Morris uh, on the decline or is it... Uh, uh, looking at us, yes. Yeah. No, it's not on the decline. It's no. not on the decline. Uh, there are potentially fewer sites. There's still quite a lot of interest and the average age is higher than it used to be. Okay. But at the same time, there's still a lot of enthusiasm. Yeah. As you'll see tonight, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one way and another. I'm impressed already. <laughs> Can you tell me anything about the symbolic thing, this, the symbolism of the, the Morris? I mean, you've got a lot of Celtic... A lot of Celtic uh, stuff going on there. Yeah, it's, I suppose, Morris, people dance in their best kit, I suppose. Right. And uh, just like a football team, you have to dress it up to suit your own well, character. So you've all got different Morris sides have got different, different costumes. Costume, yeah. 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 You're instantly recognisable anywhere you go. Probably, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Especially by the, uh, the Celtic designs, people know us for right. that. It's a special evening tonight. Yes, we're uh, out celebrating our uh, founder's birthday, right. Christopher Penton. Right. Well, he wasn't exactly our founder, but he was our inspiration to be a proper Morris team. Right. right. And uh, he died many years ago, but right. uh, we still celebrate his birthday. This is, this is the man whose birthday we're celebrating tonight. Christopher Penton. Yep. Dr. Christopher Penton. Yep. Who was basically our guide and mentor when we started our Morris team off. Right. He worked at a psychiatric hospital. He's a, he was a big wheel in, up country. He came down from to Cornwall yep. to take over in Bodmin. Bodmin had a psychiatric hospital at the time. And he said he wouldn't become the, ad the admittance administrator and bring people in and assess them. Unless there's a Morris dance team in the town. Right. And we just started. Oh, fantastic. And uh, so he, we, he taught us just about basically all we know. If that's good or bad, I don't know. <laughs> He's a very, very clever man. He could speak 16 languages. Right. Four fluently. The others it weren't so fluently at all. Included in that was Arabic and Russian. Really? Yes. Well, that's clever stuff, isn't it? It's, yeah. It certainly is. And during the war, 
he, well, not during the before the war, he, he, he spent some of his time at Berlin University. He was there in 1933. Right. And of course, he came up with the rise of Hitler. And he was there for five years. He came back to England in 1938. Uh, and th then the war broke out, and he became advisor to the British Army on psychological warfare. Right. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been a Morris dancer? Uh, 30 years now. 30 years? Oh, yeah. 30 years, yeah. You started when you was 10? Most, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Roger the Bagman. That's me, yeah. yeah. Now I've just heard that there's kind of, not, not ranks, but you've got uh, you've got the Bagman, and you've got the... Squire. Squire. What else is in a side of Morris? I suppose you have a foreman who a teaches. Foreman. Yeah. And how many is in the Trick Morris? Probably all up about... 22, I think. Yeah. Maybe more. Uh, yeah. We, <laughs> we're a flexible bunch, but right, yeah. Uh, yeah. And how, how long have you been dancing? Do you call it dancing or yes. Morrison? Or? Yes. Call it. Yeah. Been doing the Morris since 1971. Right. Yeah. That's quite a while, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You've got to be fairly fit, haven't you? Well, looking at us, is that something you'd describe as? <laughs> <laughs> Elegant, live young men that we are. <laughs> Dancing in Cornwall, uh, many sides. Uh, is There's a few sides down here, but it's not indigenous to Cornwall. Most of what we do is known as Cotswold in Morris. Right. I mean, it comes from the Cotswold area of Oxfordshire and Gloucestershire, right. which a bit originate. Well, part of it originates from. But there's many different styles of Morris. Be it the Cotswold that we do, or you got the North Lancashire clog dancing, for example, to processional Morris. You got rapper sword Morris, the sort of thing. Yep. Uh, Molly dancing from Cambridgeshire and Lincolnshire, I believe. Okay. So there's different forms of Morris. But all my turn Morris encompasses a whole different style of different styles of dancing. Fantastic. <laughs> so you're the squire? I'm oh, the squire, yeah. What does that mean? Well it means I am the sort of titular head, the leader as it were, for you know, for two years. I'm elected. Um, which means basically I work out what the dance schedule is and lead each dance. Um, make sure hopefully everybody's going in the right places at the right times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see you're having trouble getting them out of the park. I know, minute. yeah, well, it's sort of this time of the year, what do you expect? It's yeah. cold, it's wet. It's, uh, do all dark. Morris men drink yeah. that much? <laughs> Just a trick. <laughs> not all, not all. No. We've got a few. <laughs> it's fantastic. Isn't it? We would love to go out and recruit right. loads of people, yeah, yeah, yeah. but when you're a group of, like we are, about 20 people, you don't want a huge influx, yeah. although an influx will be nice. Yeah. But, uh, no, people come in there, in the, generally come individually, you know, something that struck a chord and they, they want to have a go at it. Yeah. All ages? All ages, yeah. But, uh, I mean, originally people would have taken up the Morris in their teens, I guess. Now it tends to be they they probably take it up when well, perhaps when their families are maturing, you know? Uh, probably in their 30s, you see those people come in. difficult to get young people to join but there's a central organization for Morris called the Morris Ring yep. and uh, they do have uh, under 30 section to try so that the younger blokes don't listen to too many war stories over and over again yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and they are they're making progress they're right. not they're not really flying but they're making progress and uh, it's the sort of interest where actually you want to go out in a box really. so you don't have to retire from it you'll see tonight 
some of our blokes don't dance at all or much anymore, okay. but some of them play, yep. and, and some of them do one or two dances. You know, so uh, so you can go on. So the average age of Morris size is fairly high. Right. But um, so I wouldn't say it's in decline. It's not. It's not really. Uh, advancing but it's, it's holding yeah. steady and the bells are basically a musical instrument well yes i mean uh, all goes back to um the courts years ago all oh, right yeah you've heard of paul the other one it's got bells on okay. dressed as wore bells around the legs yeah, yeah, yeah. supposed it to frighten off evil spirits i don't know about that one, well yeah, there we are it's one of those things but yeah. that's where that's where it comes from okay you all do have to have, you do have to have some friends you do yeah you do i mean we're talking about dancing uh, each dance is um, five to ten minutes long we do six of them twice a night yeah. we go once a week and do it so it does take a bit of enthusiasm a bit of physical input but you can get away with a fair bit as well once you know what you're doing yeah so and we, we have stopped doing the leapfrog dances now all right what is that <laughs> yeah. it's a requirement the get off the ground <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. We need to turn. Oh,